And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Sejuani Swain, our last deck today on this No Targon Tuesday, the newest day of the week where we'll have a themed day for the time being with Targon being everywhere and Targon being the best region and just um, so many decks are Targon want to take a breather from Targon for one day. So um, we're going to have no Targon Tuesday. We have the Rank Up Sundays where we play our, our best Rank Up Rank decks. We have our Meme Tier Mondays where we play crazy meme decks. That was yesterday. And now today we're going to have no Targon Tuesday. All right, so this one is Sejuani Swain. This is another uh, donation deck. We had, we had uh, two uh, donation decks. This was to play um, some good old Sejuani Swain. It's been a long time since we've put these two champions together. But whenever... Um, the Bilgewater expansion it did come out, um, I guess, Rising Tides. Whenever the Rising Tides expansion came out, this was a really fun combination that we put together right away. Um, Swain and Sejuani. Um, they're, they're fun champions to play together. And Freljord and Noxus are always, are like, is a good region combination, right? There's tons and tons of different decks we played with Freljord and Noxus together. But it's also a difficult region to put, to put together because there are so many good options that's hard to find the the correct deck list but hopefully this one will work pretty well for us so our two champions um have some synergy where swain neil needs you to deal non-combat damage and of course um sejuani needs you to damage the enemy nexus so if you can get that um, enemy nexus to be non-combat damage that will even help more because once we have a leveled up Swain, whenever we're dealing non-combat damage to the enemy Nexus, we're stunning things. And of course, with Sejuani, whenever we're dealing um, non-combat damage to the enemy Nexus, we are frostbiting everything. So that's, so those can work really well together. So a card like Leviathan, if we have both a leveled up Swain and a leveled up Sejuani, round start will do uh, Nexus damage. And we'll frostbite everything and then also stun three things also. It's a cool little combination together. But they're both just pretty powerful champions. We have Ember Maiden in here doing Nexus damage and dealing a lot of damage to everything. Avalanche will do lots of damage to everything. Those cards will level up our Swain pretty quickly. Um, Babbling Bjerg is in here that will draw Sejuani and Leviathan, two of our top end cards. Wolf Rider will help us ramp to get to these a little faster if we can uh, turn that on. Um, and then just some good interaction and some early two drops, all that kind of stuff. We have, um, yeah, got, got just a, a bunch of kind of good stuff in here. So we'll see how it does. All right, so Sejuani, Swain. Hope we can win some games. So I've always liked this combination. So I have, I have like the old bed and like the, the new bed with like the new blanket right there. And so they're, they're both right there and you can see the, the doggo just is laying right between them. Like couldn't decide, <laughs> couldn't decide which bed to get, get in. This is just going to be right between the two of them. <laughs> it's pretty funny. What do we got? Ooh, Karma Ezreal? PNZ Ionia? It's been a minute since we've done that. Been a minute since we've seen that. All right, we're going to mulligan our Ember Maiden and Death's Hand, and we'll keep Troll Chant against the PNZ spells. And... Avaros and Sentry is a good two drop to play because they don't really want to kill it. They look at their Mystic Shot. They're all sad. I fight with my spirit, not my fists. Never mind. More like I'm looking at I the Dragon, and I'm all sad. I can see the Demacian border from here. Um, I'm thinking about saving that. No. Certainly considered it. For the homestead. Throw me mask, secure me tail, stop the dice. Wolf Rider. Yeah, I, I love City Breaker as a card. I think it's a really fun card to play. Uh, Targon's made it pretty tough to play City City Breaker with all the Equinoxes everywhere and, and things like that. Um, but 
City Breaker is a really cool card. I wish it was easier to play. Tall as a mountain and covered in ice. So I'm gonna play the Sejuani on my attack turn. The spirit gives to those who listen. What is gained when you return malevolence? Um. And they could counter this, and I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't really mind if they cast an eye on this. Yeah, that's not a bad trade. You own what you take. Bristle, attack. I don't want to attack in. Yeah, I don't want to challenge that with the Wolf Rider because they could use a, a three mana three damage card on the Wolf Rider. Breathe in, breathe out. All right, now it's Leviathan time. Mm -hmm. We can probably take two. So my Swain's still at zero <laughs> right now. So we're a little ways away from leveling up our Swain. Only 12. Okay, now only nine damage away. Yeah, we could, we could just sit back and have these the Leviathans take over. But I think, I mean, I I feel like this is probably a pretty decent attack. Also, we could probably just attack. And maybe I should be attacking with the. I guess I should probably be attacking with the Overwhelms first, because my oh yeah, because we're at four out of five, and so then like one hits and that's five, and then the other one hits and then they get frostbitten. So I guess it it, it should be. I'm used to attacking with these things first. Uh, yeah, like I I usually like attacking worst thing to best thing, like worst to most valuable. But I guess I should have done it the other way, but if they take this, they go to zero. Zero's not a lot of life. I'm just gonna go to zero? Really? Really? Wow, they just go to zero. They have like a million cards in hand and six mana and other blockers and they just go to zero. I guess they, they just like looked and you know while they could you know maybe stay alive they couldn't stay alive like over six and the Leviathans were just gonna kill them at the beginning of the turn. That's a big part of that game for us was the Wolf Rider, right? Like that Wolf Rider ramping, that was really important. Okay, so you get Mulliganed. You you keep you keep you Mulligan you. I feel like this avalanche could be pretty cool. Highly Tower Keeper. So I, I, I feel like I could maybe get two damage in on the Fizz right now with the Death Sand, and then maybe then the Avalanche would kill the Fizz later. But of course, I also kind of want to save Death Sand for the Wolf Rider. Let's try this. Wow, they did have Poro Cannon. Wow. Well, I guess you can have Poro Cannon sometimes, too. So what they discard? An Urchin. 
Okay. So the good news about them having the Poro Cannon is now they have a couple of Daring Poros in their hand that I am not scared of whatsoever. So that's the good news, is like this hand just has a bunch of Daring Poros. damage. So they leveled up Fizz, and they're saying GG's. Look out there! The inferior design. We know that's a one mana spell. Hopefully, it's not a fast speed. Oh, it is fast speed. Had to hope. Ooh. I'm not playing Frostbite cards. They're, you know, like Riven with Ionia. They're trying to do, you know, one turn kill type stuff. Um. Whoa, Draco with a big time cheers. Wow, y'all get a bunch of hype in the chat. We're going to get some foils in here. That is incredible. Thank you so much, Draco. I really, really appreciate that. Thank you so much. So, two drop, I probably want to play... Which, which one of these do I want to play? Grenadier or Sentry? Okay. I'm going to mulligan the Grenadier. I think I'm going to keep the Sentry to play on turn two. And then... Hopefully have... Um, hopefully have a Culling Strike kill Riven. Hopefully. These old eyes still see far and clear. Yeah, thank you, Draco. Alright, we will block. Alert the villains. This will take the chill off. This one's on the house. Cool. No blocks over there. We Gets us to Wolf Rider. They're going wide. Where's our avalanches now? I mean, I can't complain about what my hand's been so far. Because we're getting pretty close. You know, like, next turn I can have, like, Sejuani plus Culling Strike together. They're out there. I'll spot them. I'll show the hunters. Look out for Reavers. <laughs> Weapon hilt. Who's gonna close up the light the signal fires? <laughs> what time is it? 
Duh. Everybody knows his Kato clock. Pain is not. Kato clock. Words of power linger in the air. I should probably actually attack with the Grenadier also. Maybe not. That's a lot of overwhelm. I like that. Lasso overwhelm. Alright, GG's. So it said Juani, Swain, 2 and 1. It took a silly... You know, Fizz plus, uh, <laughs> I already forgot the name of the card, you know, the two mana plus, plus four, plus four, suit up. You know, Fizz turn one, suit up turn two with zero mana protection. It took that to take us down so far. Hmm. All right. We are facing a Filios. Well, this ain't too bad. too bad. So I like how Avalanche could, you know, potentially do a decent amount of damage, which would be good for leveling up Swain. I'm just going to kill this thing right away before they get a gem. Don't want them having no gems. I like that thing taking out, uh, taking out that card instead of, you know, instead of Thermogenic Beam killing like my Swain or a Leviathan or something like that, you know, something a lot better. I like the Thermogenic Beam just taking out that little Ember Maiden that's not that important. Fear the power you do not see. Okay. They didn't get to double spell, that's good. Sunlight guided, my brethren. Boo. I'm still going to have Troll Chant to try to protect Swain. From something like that. So they discarded the moon weapon. Oh, discarded Falling Comet? What is their hand that they're discarding Falling Comet? After the battle of the Regions. What is that hand looking like? Well, Spaces Catcher did grab the Serpent. Unfortunately. Obviously don't want to Sejuani the Spacey Sketcher. We'll see if they play anything better. Hmm. It was right 
<clears throat> Doesn't look like it. Let's go grab Leviathan. So we know the Fangs, they still have like a card from the Fangs. And yeah, then they have this thing, the Crescendum. Still see far and clear. This is a really rough setup. <laughs> Can you improve this is really rough. I wish I would have passed again, but they probably wouldn't have not played anything if I did. Safety disengaged. A crescent path opens before us. So. So which one do they have? They have Calibrum. They have the, the one that does three damage to something. A conquest for empire. Yeah, it's basically infinite mana and infinite cards. Calibrum. Pretty close. They had Equinox. So I think they definitely should have grabbed the stun card. So I feel like they should have got. So we know that they have slow speed moon weapons, slow speed this other card. Those are both slow speed. And I guess we know they got Crescendum. Crescendums get a two drop, right? Yeah. So they're going to get another two drop. Probably bought. Can you improve perfection? And so they're getting Severum, Life, Lifesteal. Which I guess it doesn't matter because they don't have an Aphelios. So it doesn't, like, whenever they play another Aphelios, they would redo that anyway. So double spelled with those two, you know, if I just play the Leviathan, it doesn't. Um, maybe I should be attacking my sentry too. Wow, it took it all. A lot of damage to take. Bask in her radiant blessing. Alright, they just refill their mana. They get four free mana a turn. Seize 
I hope that wasn't an obliterate card that they just grabbed. But if it if it was an obliterate card, I don't you know I don't want them to obliterate my Leviathan. It was obliterate. <clears throat> so, I guess I did waste my Culling Strike. Culling Strike would have been really nice right now, but I... Ooh, there we go. I was going to say that I'm really glad that they didn't get rid of my um, Leviathan. So, what Moon Weapon are they going to grab? Is it going to be get another 2-drop and just try to get another Ballistic Bot? But that's going to be too slow. I think their plan was overwhelm, you know, the bot now, but thankfully our Leviathan frostbit them. So that's not a plan anymore. Can you improve perfection? Well, let's see. Can't cast that re in response to a spell or anything either, so... So I, th I think we got this right now. I think we got this. Can you improve perfection? Because, you know, we're going to be able to open attack. So we'll have to see what this last card is and what the other card is they draw. That, you know, it's not... If it's, like, get excited plus Mystic Shot, like, that's what they need. They need get excited plus Mystic Shot. Like, that'd be very unlucky for us. But if that is either get excited plus or Mystic Shot, and then that's the other one. Or of course, obviously, double double get excited would do it. Of course. For conquest. Let's take this outside. Hopefully not. It'd be very unlucky for us if it was. All right, it's not. There we go. We Great win against Aphelios Veiled Temple. Great win. All right, back to Aphelios again, this time with Lee Sin. Culling Strike, Culling Strike, you know, kind of kills these, I guess. I mean, do I want to keep Avalanche Scorch Earth, Scorch Earth type stuff? Maybe, yeah, I don't know. I could see this being decent. I don't know, we'll try it out. We're going to play this to not waste our mana. Um, besides that, the, the meta tier list on Mobilitics isn't really the best. I'd, I'd recommend looking at the stats page more than the meta, than, more than the tier list. Midi Doug with a Twitch Prime sub. Thank you, Midi Doug. Wow, that's our fifth sub of the day. That means we get some bonus stream. So I really don't have anything to play. Like, I guess I'm just going to pass. What did they do? They went and got a moon weapon. All right, so they'll get a two, two mana follower. Which we are going to try to culling strike. We got Dustbringer. Whoa, no attacks. I kind of thought they were going to be attacking there. Stand as a nox, or die as an Ionian. I made my choice long ago. Please work. Don't do it. No, Puffy. 
So I, I can attack here, but they can just go bear. They can play the dust and get barrier on the Lee Sin. So it's not really worth the attack. Maybe I should have attacked first. IDK. I probably should have waited a turn on that culling strike, but they had they had Nopify for it anyway, so. So yeah, so they will be able to play the Moon Weapon also, because this only costs two mana, because they use that uh, other card. The night, so if they want to do, you know, three damage to a follower, they can kill my Wolf Rider. Alright, we'll take around. Wait, until next turn for that. What is gained when we return malevolence? Carved from the Savage Cold. Trying to get some damage in on this thing. But my opponent will not allow me to get any damage in on this thing. Witness strength. I think they got me this game. I think their their cards lined up very well against me. I think I made like the decisions I made didn't pan out. And um, yeah, those champions those champions are pretty good. They had a, they had a very solid hand. But we will we will take a three two with Sejuani Swain. Nothing to be ashamed of of a nice winning record in Masters rank. All three twos today. That's pretty that's pretty great. You know it's no Targon Tuesday. No Targon decks whatsoever, and we still came out with all winning records. As the dragon wills. Yeah, with the lab we did I've only done three labs. Conflict we did the Aphelios and won that mind. one, and then we did and then I did Lulu and won that, and that was my best lab, and then I tried that then we did Hecarum and ended up did end up um losing with Hecarum. So I'm trying to like bait out uh counter spell or you know something like that or you know whatever kind of spell and hopefully be able to have scorched earth all right so they're probably going to take ravenous flock they can kill my swain now that'd be my guess okay ggs had a very good hand. Very, very good. Hand. This is not the end. But there we go. That was Sejuani Swain. We ended up with the three and two, like we were just talking about. Not bad at all for Masters rank. Uh, we'll take that. Good old, uh, good old Swain Sejuani Leviathan. The Wolf Rider looked really good. Like there's two, like those first two wins. A lot of them were on the back of the Wolf Rider ramping to these, so we got to Leviathan a turn early. That was a big deal, you know, being able to play Leviathan on turn seven instead of normally on turn eight. So like the Wolf Rider was really nice, um, but I think I think our list overall did did pretty well. You know, like I, the thing that kind of looks weird here is we weren't playing a Arachnoid Sentry. Um, that usually you play that to pair with Ravenous Flock, uh, but we didn't we didn't really have the room for it. We played these things instead. Um, 
and I, I was happy with that. You know, like we were an Avalanche deck, and Avalanche was pretty good. And so, um, you know, the Sentry doesn't really pair with Avalanche, um, but you know, it does pair better with like Tavern Keeper and Bjerg and Wolf Riders. So, you know, like we'd have like those three hell things, and then Avalanche, and you know, like we'd play those and have our opponent extend into our Avalanche. That was pretty nice. Uh, but yeah, I liked our list. It worked out pretty good, you know, for especially for Sejuani Swain. So. Uh, very happy with that. All right, those of y'all on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Leave those comments. Um, let me know what you thought of No Targon Tuesday. Uh, ended up with all winning records. Four, three, and twos. Well, four, four, three, and twos. Very happy about that. Masters rank, ranking up with no Targon cards. Um, and yeah, if you have any ideas for next week for, for No Targon Tuesday, let me know. Um, you know, or just any, anything else. I'd love to, to hear those suggestions. But um hopefully y'all enjoyed we had two donation decks two brand new decks with lulu fiora and Callista thresh as well um pretty fun day today all right but that's all i got here for sejuani swain thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video